I was diagnosed with congestive heart failure and kidney failure, so I was facing that. You prayed for me. I feel like I have a new lease on life. Hey, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Welcome to our lifestyle vlog. This is your brother Brian with the Gospel of Transformation Ministries, helping you live your best Christian life on earth, just as it is in heaven. And the way that we do that is through teachings as well as lifestyle vlogs just like this. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So let's go ahead and pray first. Who would like to pray? For a safe drive, okay? Amen. Amen. All right. So I was leaving the church and as I was leaving, I saw a woman that about three weeks ago came for prayer. I was part of the ministry team at the time. She needed prayer for diabetes and some blood pressure situations. Uh, she came with her son uh, to, for prayer. Go ahead and tell me uh, your name. My name is Marcel Margrat. I was diagnosed with congestive heart failure and kidney failure uh, to the point where I needed dialysis and I, I couldn't take water pills for the, the heart because it made the, the kidneys worse and and I wasn't going to take dialysis so I was facing that. I prayed for her. I commanded healing. I commanded her diabetes to be healed. I commanded the blood pressure to regulate and so on and so forth and when we prayed for her she started feeling a little woozy under the power of God and I just told her just let it go. If you're gonna go down let yourself go down. We'll we'll catch you. We'll we'll make sure you're you're okay. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. Now she didn't fall out in the spirit. She didn't get slain in the spirit. But the weightiness of the Lord took her. And so we we brought her downward and continued to con command healing. Mm. And uh, you prayed for me. In the meantime, they did a sonogram of my heart, and it is significantly better. And I'm not in congestive heart failure anymore. And the, uh, they did blood work for the kidneys, and uh, she said the numbers were significant lower. She thought maybe I'd changed my diet or something, and I told her, no, the Lord did it. She ignored that, but I thank the Lord every day. I feel like I have a new lease on life. That's so good. God wants us well. I believe that. Amen, amen. This is amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. And you're okay again if I put this on YouTube, right? Can yeah. I find it on YouTube? I'll, I'll give you the link. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll uh, tell you the name. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Give it to me too, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you're also going to see her son who came as well. And I just felt in my heart, it pressed upon my heart to just love him and pray for his heart. Well, it turns out that um, he had something that went on with his heart years ago. And um, and he shares about what God did here. So this is Chris, yeah. and this is your mother, right? Yes. Three weeks ago, I came with my mother, and um, for for prayer for her, she found out about the church, and um, I was up there with, and um, you prayed for me. And when you came to pray for me, you said, "Do you mind if I put my hand on your heart?" I don't know why you said that, but I know you felt compelled by the Lord to say that. Um, because um, in 2016, I had a heart attack, and in 2017, I had a triple bypass. And uh, those two events 
um, really made me understand where I needed to be with the Lord. Um, and um, that came out in, in, in your prayer. A blessing uh, was, was given to me from the Lord through you that day. Um, and so I really, I really appreciate both you, your dedication, and, um, and this church, and what they do here. That's so good. Well, Chris, thanks so much for testifying. You're okay with this being on YouTube as sure, well? Sure, Awesome. Praise God. Wow. That is just amazing. So good. One of the things about this lifestyle is it's always good to follow up, see how they're doing, to encourage them in the Lord, to love on them continuously. So what did you guys uh, learn today in church? I built a huge castle for tiny people. Built a huge castle for giant people? No, tiny. Tiny people. What did you learn about Jesus? Me? Yeah. Uh, I know. We had someone come into our class. She was from a far, far away country. Are they called missionaries when they travel to yep. help? She was a missionary and she spoke all these different languages to teach people in all these different um, countries and states and stuff about Jesus. We got to ask her questions, but I didn't ask any. What stood out to you? Um, that she was from another country and she had to learn English. Very cool. Mm -hmm. This is what this vlog is about. You're gonna to get to know me a little bit better and you'll see more of what God does in our reality, in, in, in our daily lives, in my daily life. If he's doing it in my life, he'll do it in yours. So I sure do love you. If this has blessed you, go ahead and share it. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon. But in the meantime, go and be everything that God says you are because that's the way he knows you. God bless you. Anything else you wanna say? Uh, subscribe. Thank you.